Hello everybody, it is Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build here on my channel. Um, I'm actually really excited about this one. I think it turned out really, really well. Um, and yeah, it's super exciting. Ooh, I bumped my microphone cord. Sorry if you heard that. Anyways, um, today's build is called Sunshine Family Home. Um, I don't really know if that's a great name, but it's what I came up with, so that's the name of the house. Yay! Um, it's a three-bedroom, three-bathroom home that I built, obviously. The color scheme that I went with is, um, it's very white on the outside. I was gonna call it, like, something to do with white picket fence or something. I don't know, but I went with, uh, Sunshine Family Home instead, obviously. As you can tell from the title of the video and what I just told you guys. But anyways, yeah, um, the color scheme on the outside, it's very white, pristine, perfect. And on the inside, it has a very yellow, obviously, and, and dark brown type skull color scheme. Uh, the yellow and brown uh, theme that I kind of was going for, it was something that I don't really do often. I was originally actually going to do blue, but then I was like, honey, you do blue all the time. <laughs> Like, try some, branch out a bit, girl. Branch out, try something new. So that's what I did. Tried something new with the, the yellows. And I really like how it came out. I really, really do. Actually, you'll see the first bedroom that I decorate. The bed, I love that bed. It is so gorgeous and amazing and fabulous. And I love it with every ounce of my soul. Like, <laughs> it's so good. Um, the floor plan upstairs is a little bit weird I guess I don't know it was kind of difficult to figure out but I'm trying super hard because I always end up having like way too much extra space in my build like I just do it too big and so I've been working really hard on on having less open empty area um, downstairs there is a bit of, of open empty space but upstairs I did really well I think with them um, keeping everything nice and, and compact. Now working on the um, the outside paneling, it was really annoying me because I really wanted to do that um, paneling with the blue down the corners, but for whatever reason on the lower level, that one corner wouldn't get the little blue rod down it and it was really annoying me. Um, and so I had to pick something else, so I ended up just doing white paneling and leaving it at that. Um, I like the way it came out. I've, I don't think I've ever really done just like an all white exterior. Um, I wanted to have the pops of blue on the outside, like on the on the corners, and then have the inside be white and blue. Um, but as you can see and will see, that is definitely not what happened. So yeah, I just ended up going with this um, white color instead. And I'm actually pretty happy with the roofing. Uh, on this house. Um, I feel like I've been getting a lot better uh, with the roofing lately. Um, I used to struggle so much with it, um, but recently, like, I've just, I just feel better about it. I feel like I'm getting good, which is very exciting for me because it was something that I really hated doing and now I'm actually not hating it. <laughs> I think it's fun. It's good times. So yeah, that's really exciting. Um, I was gonna say something and I totally just forgot what it was, but, you know, it's fine. Um, seriously, I have no idea what I was going to say. Um, okay, let me know, you guys, if you are enjoying seeing more builds on my channel. If you're liking it, please, please let me know. Uh, I would love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on it. Um, I mean, I don't think I'll stop doing builds, but if you guys aren't liking it, then just please tell me and maybe I will try to switch it up with something else. I'm not really sure, but I'm fairly happy with the new sort of scheduling system I have going. Um, I think it's working really well. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying doing more um, creative sims and more speed builds because before it was just a lot of let's plays and less of anything else, but now I'm trying to incorporate equal amounts of all the different types of videos that I love to make and it's really exciting and it's gonna get even better this is sad to say but it is gonna get even better once I finish up all of my apartment renovations because then um, like it's just gonna be great trust me guys it's gonna be great um, I can't wait I really I'm so excited about it um, yeah 
going to be fabulous. Uh, pretty stoked. Um, one thing that I did want to talk to you guys about is, oh my goodness, for whatever reason, like, I have been obsessed. Like, okay, obsessed is a little bit of an extreme word, but I have been loving watching Fantasia's videos lately. Like, oh my goodness, I, on, um, Thursday night, I stayed up, like, till midnight binge watching her City Living Let's Play and playing the Not So Berry Challenge, which I've also been obsessed with. And, like, it was so much fun. It was so great. The only, like, downside was that in the morning I had a, a math unit exam. So it was like, I, I shouldn't be doing this right now. I should be sleeping, but I don't care because I love it so much. Like, she's so sweet and she's a sweet person in general, like, I love interacting with her on Twitter and everything, and she actually follows me on Twitter, not trying to toot my own horn, but I, like, I cried, I, like, straight up cried when she <laughs> followed me on Twitter, I was like, oh my god, is this real life, like, I don't think so, um, but yeah, she's just so nice and amazing, and she's so funny in her last plays, and I just love her so much, like, I can't, Oh, she's great. If you don't watch her videos, like, I will link her channel in the description of this video. Um, hopefully I remember. Yeah, I'm gonna link her channel. I'm gonna make a note right now uh, on my little notepad oh, that I'm dropping. Okay. Um, Sunshine Family Home Link and Asia. Perfect. All right. Yeah, I really love her. Like, seriously, you guys, if you have not watched her videos, which I'm sure you have, but if by some grace of God you haven't, honey, get your booty over to her channel and watch because it's so good. After I finish recording this, I'm going to watch the first part of her Not So Berry Challenge. I'm so excited to see it. Ugh, I love the Not So Berry Challenge. So I finally started playing mine because if you don't know, um, I'm playing the Not So Berry Challenge off camera and then I will be updating you guys once or twice a month with um, little update videos. Um, I'll probably have the first one up next week. Um, and that will be great. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. But anyways, she started a Let's Play of the Not So Very Challenge on her channel, and I'm really excited to watch it because I am obsessed with her lately for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. I just am. She's so great. Her cats are so cute. Seriously, follow her on Instagram. Her cats are adorable. Like, I can't get over it. Um, another person in the Simming community who I really love, who you all know I love, is Trillic, the CC creator. Um, I'm gonna link her Sims resource in the um, in the description as well because I just feel like I just feel like spreading the love because I'm in such a good mood right now. Um, I'll link her Sims resource down below. Seriously, all of her CC is amazing. Like almost all of my CC showcases have at least one thing by her in them, or I don't know their gender, but by them in them. I freaking love this person so much. They're so sweet. They, like, oh, it's today when I'm recording this, it's March 18th, which is my one-year anniversary on YouTube. Hey, how you doing? Anyways, um, and so today I did, like, um, a huge CC showcase with, like, 35 items, and she reblogged it on Tumblr and, like, wrote this really nice thing. She's like, congratulations on one year, and thank you so much for this video, and I was like, girl, you were so precious and it's like I literally cried like <laughs> I like I literally cried I was so just happy and overwhelmed this is the bed by the way that I'm obsessed with I think this bed is so cute it's like reminds me of like a little grandma bed for some reason like this is just like a bed my grandma would have you know what I mean I love it I'm obsessed um one thing that I should actually mention originally this room was supposed to be the master bedroom but now I'm not really sure which one's the master bedroom because the, there's one bedroom upstairs upstairs is a kid's bedroom and then like just a normal bedroom and the normal bedroom up there is like way bigger than this bedroom and I almost feel like that should be the master bedroom so I don't know if you download this house it is available for download on my gallery my origin ID is forever sims love um it's in the description of every video so yeah if you want to download this off the gallery, I guess it's kind of up to you which one you want to make your master bedroom, because I don't know. Really, I don't. I don't know which one's the master bedroom. They're, 
they're both equally mastery. So I don't know. Um, I was going to do a toddler room, but I don't like doing toddler rooms. I love doing kids' bedrooms, but I really don't like doing toddler bedrooms for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm just complicated like that. I just don't like doing them. I really, I don't know why. I'm weird, I guess. I'm just strange like that. I just don't like toddler bedrooms at all. I really don't. It's a struggle. It's a struggle that I have every day. It's fine. Um, anyways, um, I just, like, I don't know, I was so mesmerized. I was watching the build, and I was just like, wow, girl, messing around with those windows, doing that floor. Mm-hmm. Anyways, <laughs> I'm in such a weird mood today because I'm in such a good mood. Just, like, we hit 320 supporters today, which is so overwhelming and exciting, and I'm, like, seriously so happy. I love you guys so much. I can't believe that in a year we've grown so much. Like, on Tumblr, I have, like, over 310 followers on Tumblr. Like, it's crazy. Like, I don't even know what's going on. Like, you guys are so fabulous, and I love you all so much, and so that has me in a good mood. Plus, like, it's my one-year anniversary, so that just makes me feel good in general, because I'm just all around excited. And I don't know, like, I'm just feeling so happy. I just am. And I don't know. I had an apple for breakfast this morning and it was really good. That was making me feel good. Um, when I was doing, when I was uploading the CC showcase today, and I was like, like, the way that I do my CC list is really complex. And it, I probably make it way harder than it needs to be, but that's okay because that's who I am as a person. And um, so I had all of the links to all the CC like opened in different tabs, and one of them started playing music, and it was like some bumping tunes, like it was good music. Like usually I turn it off when the tumblers start playing music, but for whatever reason I was just like, this is some good tune, so I like kept listening to it, and it was really good. I was really happy. That also put me in a good mood because I was like, these are, this person got good taste. Like I'm feeling this. Yes, honey, so good. So yeah, that's just, why am I so weird? I don't know. Like, I'm such a freak. It's fine. Um, yeah, I just say weird things sometimes. It's, it's all good in the hood. I'm just in such a weird mood that I just don't know. It's just like random words. This voiceover probably is really bad and awful to listen to. Sorry, guys. I'm just in a really random mood, apparently, and I don't know why. Um, but anyways, this is the other bedroom that I feel like could be a master bedroom, um, so I don't really know, um, but I feel like it's kind of like a teenage boy bedroom, maybe, or a teenage girl, really, any teenager could live in this bedroom, but it's not like, obviously a teenager bedroom, you know, like a mature teenager would have this bedroom. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make sense. I don't know. I feel like this is like, I don't know, like a grandparent's house almost. You know what I mean? I, yeah. It's fine. It's, I don't, I just say random things sometimes. Ignore me. Um, but yeah, I tried to use a lot of like the same stuff from the downstairs. I thought that bed, for some reason I thought that bed was yellow and now I'm realizing it's actually green. But I tried. You know what? I tried. Uh, it's close enough. The chair is yellow, so that ties it together. I think there's like a little bit of yellow in the bed, but I guess it's kind of nice to not have every single room like screaming yellow at you, so that's good. Uh, but now I'm just going through and putting in the lights. Um, I put in those like circle lights to start with just because they, I feel like they light up the house really well, but I do like to go in and put in like actual hanging lights that look nice. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know, I just like to, I think it looks better that way. Um, and so I usually, um, have the circle lights throughout the whole build and then go back at the end and change the lights. Um, sometimes I don't do it like that, sometimes I do, it just kind of depends on my mood and the day and all that good stuff, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. I just have weird processes, don't worry about it. Um, and I also put a pool in the backyard. Um, I think the yard is really nice. I didn't like over landscape it, but it's still like landscaped fairly nicely, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. The deck is very, very simple, which I like. Like it's just a very simple family home that I feel like any family could move into and, and feel good. Um, the price of this home, I don't think it's too expensive. Um, it might be a little bit expensive. It's like 60,000 smallions. I don't know if that's super expensive or not. I usually use free real estate to move my sims into houses, so I, yeah, I don't know how 
expensive is really expensive, but that's how much it costs around. It's around 60,000. Simoleons, um, if that breaks your budget, I'm really sorry. I don't know what to tell you. That's just how it happened. Um, and that's just the way it is. <laughs> sorry guys, I'm not good at making cheap homes. Uh, it's just not my thing. You saw the last build where it was under 20,000 simoleons. Yeah. It could have been way better. That, but I feel like that build is kind of nice because it has a lot of potential and, you know, the families can kind of um, change it to how it suits their needs. So, I think it's kind of, it's cute. It's a cute build. If you haven't seen that build, you should watch it. Um, at the end of this video, there will be a little annotation square link that you can click on to, to watch that video if you're interested in it. So, yeah. You should watch that video because I think it's pretty good. Um, but anyways, the screenshots are coming up now, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.